so much for joining me today and if you are not new thank you so much for coming back so first things first i'm still in greece which would explain the lighting it's not the best lighting situation but it's better than nothing so i'm gonna try to get this video pumped out while it's still daylight outside i wanted to film a beauty review video while it was out here for you guys i brought some of the new products that i've tried some of them are favorites some of them are just like hey this is cool i should talk about it in a video so that's what this video is going to be about in no particular order i'm going to start with lip products i'm not sure if i've already featured these in a favorites video but the meat matte hues from the bomb the liquid lipsticks are probably some of my favorites out of all liquid lipsticks ever they wear very 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 comfortably i picked my top three shades even though i pretty much like all of them and i have honest which is a beautiful coral especially on dark tan skin i have charming which is probably one of my favorites it's a dark mauve pink so if you like that dark mauve your lips but better bomb especially for black girls whoo girl it's so pretty and it actually has pigment in it and then i have committed which is what i'm wearing now and it's almost kind of like a i guess a nude pink but between committed and charming these are my favorite they're not overly drying they smell like mint chocolate chip cookie oh my god they're just amazing as for foundations it's summer it's hot you're gonna be outside for a long time things are gonna be sweating and dripping in other places besides your face and it's good to have a long wearing foundation if you have oily skin like me if you have combination skin like me and you need something that's going to combat shine i have a few of my favorites that i'm wearing a lot of i've probably talked about this in a favorites video before it's not at all new to my channel but sasha's second skin has been really 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 saving my skin lately especially because i go from dark to light and it's very actually very rare i typically can use the same foundation all year round i don't spend a ton of time outdoors when i do it's maybe at most 30 minutes and i just don't really tan this summer i said to hell with that and i've been <laughs> sleeping outside i've been camping i've been doing everything outside so i've had to change foundations and luckily i have so many of these in second skin and they also just so happen to be amazing at staying put in hotter climate temperatures long wearability they're amazing they're not the lightest on the face but they're also not the heaviest if you know what i mean like you will kind of feel it but honey if you want that makeup to stay put you need you some second skin so right now i'm in between coco beige and perfect spice you guys one thing i do want to remind you of please please don't watch this video and be like girl we are the same color but that foundation looks ashy on me that means we are not the same color boo boo that means you might want to try something else that means you might want to try something else but sasha is only available online if you are not in trinidad so if you need a reference i go perfect spice is like really really my color but i'm still lighter in the center of my face so i will use Cocoa beige in the middle and then that way it just kind of looks more realistic the foundation looks more skin like when you use two to match instead of just one all over it adds a little bit more dimension the black opal true color pore perfecting foundations is one of my favorites not necessarily for the summer months but i just love how lightweight it is the finish is phenomenal i'm wearing this actually right now with a combination of that and the new makeup forever ultra hd now they came out with a new formula in liquid and in stick form and originally when they gave this to me this is number 180 it was way too dark and a little too warm for me but right now i'm finding that when i use it around the perimeter of my face it helps me mix and match my foundations that are a little too light so this mix with any foundation is pretty much bay and this one i like right now just simply because it's lightweight on the skin it's great during the day and it doesn't feel like you have a ton of gap on your face you know what i mean because when you're when it's summer you don't really want to be wearing a ton of makeup anyway but if you must or if you're going to be outside if you know you're going to be photographed and you want to look good without having a ton of product on i would suggest this one and of course black opal is the pioneer for women of color foundation so they've got a shade for everybody this is beautiful bronze by the way but i could probably go a half shade darker but this one seems to really 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 work for me i have become a victim to charlotte tilbury charlotte tilbury is dead wrong she has taken all my money and i'm going after her i really am because i'm tired i'm tired charlotte i'm tired stop this. this this has to stop the color chameleons have been my favorite product i love these i really really like these i have two i recently bought two i bought they are like color coded um you know how some companies will have like a series of products that are like geared towards brown eyes geared towards green eyes geared towards blue eyes okay so i bought the amethyst one and this is supposed to be for green eyes 
and I mean it's okay I don't like it in person as much as I liked it online it's just like a I don't know like a purple a shimmery purple which is pretty it's just not for every day but my everyday color which is what I'm wearing now and I always put them in the waterline because I feel like it's just a nice way to kind of like brighten the eyes up a little bit during the day when you don't want to wear a ton of makeup you can even just put this on and just bounce okay so I have the amber haze and this one is for brown eyes it's so pretty it's just a beautiful golden bronze color I can wear it every day I can wear it with like pretty much every eye I hope my boob was not showing just then oh my god and then I bought another one of the eyes to mesmerize because I really really like this formula these are her cream eyeshadow bases and this color is called Verushka it's like an olive color olive is one of my favorite 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 colors not only in the summer but on like tan dark deep skin tones I think it looks beautiful it's like Olive is the new gold. You know how gold just looks good in the summer on 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 golden undertones, olive undertones, dark skin, oh, just everything just looks bronze. I feel like olive is the second coming of that. This formula is amazing. They're like water-based. They feel like they just feel like bouncy and puffy. My two favorite mascaras at the moment are from Benefit. These are the They're Real and I've worn these in videos before. They're not new but they recently came out with a line of different colors. So I wanted to specifically talk about the brown one because brown has been bay for summer. It looks so good. It's like a way to thicken the lashes and add definition but it's brown so during the daytime you know it looks a little softer i remember when benefit came out with the very real push-up liners um a couple months ago and they were pushing it really really heavy on social media and it got really really mixed reviews some people either really really liked it or they really didn't like it i mean i like it i think it's kind of like a no-brainer approach to liquid liner some people just don't one they just don't have a steady enough hand to really really get it and liquid liner takes practice it's not something that you can do one time and be good at it you actually have to do it a few times and to get it right but I feel like because this is a liquid but it's it's a cream based liner I feel like it gives you kind of a little bit more leeway like once it's there you can kind of manipulate a little bit more if that makes sense and I like the fact that they come in different colors so I've been finding myself using the brown one a lot just like the mascara again it's just a great way to define the eyes without looking super harsh super dark during the day and it just makes brown eyes look even more brown and sparkly and pretty. The Rock Chic eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I knew that we were going to be as one the first time I saw it. I don't know what was stopping me from buying it, but I ended up eventually getting it. I guess I just kind of had to talk myself into it. It's a beautiful, a beautiful palette. I'm wearing it now on my eyes. And the only thing that I can say that I really kind of eh about the palette is shadows are great, payoff is amazing, but all of the palettes seem to feature like one of these kind of glittery shimmery colors and I'm a big fan of applying lid colors with my fingers I just like the way that they apply better those glittery shades in these palettes don't pick up the best I kind of find that you have to really dig in there to get them to pick up but once you do I mean they're amazing they reflect beautifully high shine tons of pigmentation just not the best at blending so Charlotte your bae but I'm gonna need you to work on those glittery shades because I love I love them I've been wearing this palette I wear this palette like at least once every two weeks and that says a lot almost forgot to talk about new dude I don't know how this one slipped through the cracks but this has been the palette that has been getting my life this entire grease trip this entire grease trip I've been wearing this every other day it looks good in photographs shadows blend exquisitely every time I photograph in it you guys give me tons of compliments and it's just a quintessential nude girl palette that you can take with you everywhere everywhere okay it's got every shade you need and I like the fact that instead of the darker colors being more brown they added more burgundy I just feel like burgundy is more flattering in the summer and it's not they're not like I, I feel like sometimes the browns in these types of palettes come off a little ashy that's what I'm trying to say burgundy it's got a little more color a little more flattering on darker skin tones this is definitely definitely two thumbs way up approved for brown girls all of the shades all of the shades I mean this one fabulous is not my favorite but for you to get two four six eight ten twelve eyeshadows I'll take one wild card okay if you've been watching my channel long enough you probably know when I like a product I pretty much stick to it I don't change it that's pretty much the philosophy I've done for my brows for years. I used the MAC brow pencil for years, and then I hopped on the Anastasia bandwagon and I have not touched anything else since then. 
The next product that I want to talk about is actually a new line of brow pencils from Urban Decay. I wanted to try them because I did want to put them to the test and talk about them in a video and I ended up really really liking them and I haven't used anything else since then. They have a full range of I, I believe about five or six different colors and I use a combination of dark and I also have warm brown and then they also came out with a bunch of brow gels. They have a clear one and a couple other colors but I've been using the tinted one and the shade warm brown and between these three combinations my brows have been can't tell nothing I, there's just something about layering two different brow colors I feel like it's more flattering and it, and it creates a more realistic brow as opposed to just using one color and I also really like the fact that it has a spooling in the back because as I work I can just brush oh okay I'm not dropping the pencil I can brush pencil brush pencil brush it just makes it so much easier so much easier I'm about 70% positive that I'm the last brown girl to buy Becca shimmering skin perfector and topaz and yes it is everything and the moon and the stars that I have ever imagined it is amazing it is um and I'm not saying I don't use that word lightly it is beautiful it is probably one of my favorite highlighters at the moment it's just a beautiful gold shade a copper gold not ashy whatsoever bro it is on point I love this thing you can use it on the body or if you're like me and you really want to look like a sun goddess sees candy chocolate godiva glistening just stepped out of the pool just hit Saint Tropez you can't tell me nothing okay take the sh the liquid shimmering skin perfector same color they're both topaz and pff, I don't know I don't think that I don't think they're gonna be ready I really don't you might have to give a warning when you use these two together like y'all I'm about to just walk into the room and shut it down I hope y'all are ready because that's how good it looks it looks so good all my beach pictures I would just layer my body in these so pretty so pretty they just photograph well and I don't really I've had this for a while but I don't really use my liquid highlighters until the summer hits once that summer calendar bing, and I'm short shorts skirts backs exposed halters swimsuits all over my body all over my body I just love Becca I love Becca they're like one of the few companies out there that are just doing it for brown girls amen Becca I see you shout out to Charlotte Tilbury for coming out with a film star bronze palette for medium to dark complexions but does it miss the mark slightly do I like it I still do really like it now I will say the sculpting shade obviously not everybody's my complexion obviously there's dark skinned women who can use this color it depends on how you define dark I guess I feel like this borderline borderline and I mean border you can see it on me you can you probably can't now now that I'm a little darker but when I first got it it was before I was tanned there was a slight sculptish sculptability but it wasn't much and it was just kind of hey eh. and it's also frosty so if you like that you can use it as a highlight you can actually use this first and then put the highlight shade on top of it but this highlight shade she did the hell out of and I mean she did the hell out of like it's almost like to me I don't I don't want to go so far as to say a matte highlight it's not matte but it's my boobies stop but it's just not like okay if I want to look disco ball fleek I'm gonna go for Becca all right now if I want something more subtle but still powerful it makes a powerful statement without looking super super shiny that would be this one it's actually and I, I'm not exaggerating when I say this probably up there with my top highlighters and I don't say that I've already you know you guys know how I am with products I don't say that very lightly it is absolutely beautiful and I rate it because I think in my opinion it's quite unique it looks orange but it doesn't come off as orange it's just the most pretty subtle gold could this have been a little darker yeah I think she definitely missed the mark with that can you still use it absolutely you can use this one to highlight as well um, today I tried using this as a blush I wasn't all that impressed and I'm like oh no because it, it's just too frosty but you can still use it as a highlight and layer that underneath the orange shade and still get use out of it but it's definitely not a sculpting palette for me so yeah what else I'm still using it and I still really like it when I was at a uh, fame expo this year I ran into this lady who had no idea who I was and it's, it's not to say that that was a bad thing but she ended up having a brush cleaning company and she just gave me a sample of it it's called Miss Casanova some of you guys may have already heard about it but I brought it with me on this trip because I don't really have I either deep clean my brushes or I don't at all 
And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be out of the country for two weeks, I should have something that I can spot, spot clean my brushes with at least once or twice while I'm gone because I'm not gonna be using the same dirty brushes for two weeks. So I brought this with me and I actually really, really like it. I will give a disclaimer though. And this can either be a good or a bad thing depending on who you talk to. It smells like a man's cologne. So if you are single, you, it might make you feel some type of way. Let's just put it that way. With that being said, the scent is very, 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 it, it is quite strong even for me. I really like it. It's not something that, it's not off-putting in a way. Like it's not off-putting in a bad way, but it's pretty strong. So if you have sensitive, eh, sensitive whiffers, you might want to pass on that one. And the last thing, but I do really like, it cleans my brushes pretty quickly. They feel sanitized and they feel really, 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 really clean. If you are in the market for a new sunblock, one that I've been wearing like every, not every day, but every other day here in Greece is this one from First Aid Beauty. I've actually never heard of this brand, but after I started using it, I realized like, oh, I've seen this before. I think I've seen this on YouTube, but it actually helped relieve my skin from being, and I'm telling you guys, like I was outside for like long periods of time, like six, seven hiking um I went up and saw like most of the activities I was doing was me spent outside so um but this was keeping me keeping my skin protected and it's head when I tell you it's heavy it's heavy so if you're gonna apply it I would recommend um not going super overboard applying it lightly and really really kind of like mixing it into the hands and then because it will make you it will probably turn you purple like if you're dark like me It'll probably make you turn purple it's that heavy so um but it works it definitely works and um i would just notice that my skin wouldn't wouldn't burn as much when i would wear this so i'm gonna have to go re-up on this because i've almost used this whole bottle and with that being said we've reached the end of today's favorites video if you guys have any questions on any of the products i featured today please let me know and um product requests i kind of want to do something new if you guys have anything that you want to see i don't know i rock tutorial using the urban decay naked pencils if you want to see a lipstick swatch on their new lipsticks, whatever you want to see related to this video or just in general in life, talk to me. Tell me hi. Tell me my hair is cute. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.